What is up everyone, CircleFlex here bringing you guys a new video and today I just want to respond to basically QB's video and my uh, YouTube comment section all at the same time because I think they bring some some similar points. So I'm going to go and have the audio of uh, QB's video and I'm going to skim through it to all the points that he's making and hopefully avoiding uh, the less important stuff like the, the jitter. But this is basically all in one go. I'm not going to edit the whole video because... I just can't be bothered. Like, I could spend the whole weekend making a video, I guess, but let's not, okay? So... Just mods? I mean, just mods. He's talking about the mods. The mods made the game better, and obviously he's right. That XCM stats part is the one that's annoying. XCM stats has done a lot of things, and they show it in the video. It's like the session stats, uh, the minimap features, some of the garage features, where you can, like, layer your tanks and stuff. A lot of quality of life uh, improvements, right? See, players. Okay. Motivates the player to be competitive. Motivates the player to be competitive. I, I, I can understand that sentiment because when I notice that I'm on a, a team which is less skilled or than the enemy team, then sure, it means that let's go. I've got to really put in a huge amount of effort this game to be able to, to, to carry the underdog team to victory. All right. Okay, so we the, the misconception here is that XCM stats in-game leads to a target that you want to aspire to to get better. What I think is happening is that people know about the W8, they know about the statistics websites, they know about the session stats, and that would already be enough of a push. So, see, if you want to increase your W8, you don't need XCM during the game. You want to get better. Also, I think it's a really weird point that he's making here, is that you would... Try harder if you know that your team is bad. And this is a really easy counterpoint, because why not always try hard? <laughs> like, why not always put in your best best effort to carry your team? And if you don't know the stats, you got to do your best all, every time. Wouldn't you want that from every teammate in your team, even if they're relatively bad players or more casual players, however you want to call it? Like, it's a really kind of a dumb thing to say, because you should always try your best, right? All right them on my team rather than some terrible tomato and then they'll they'll use that to literally berate that player in game which is so here's talking about that xcm stats in game that people are being berated in game during the game for being a bad player which is obviously a huge negative and i think he agrees with that so that's fine i guess that's a so that's a bad thing from xcm stats that he agrees with and it's often try to take down players with good stats first uh, often I'm th so the video here goes about uh saying that the the good players often gets targeted first or often gets targeted in every game that, that might be pushing it sure sometimes it happens so he thinks it's pushing it and that it only happens sometimes uh i actually think i i wish i had the sources for this i really do i'm, I'm pretty sure someone might be able to dredge it up i tried googling it i couldn't get very far there was literally people that made alt accounts uh, or played on friends accounts that were not high rated. And they took a chance to see how many times they get RT'd versus their real account. And every single time that, that, that someone has done that, it's always happened on the subreddit. So I wish I had a link. It, it, it's literally a thing, okay? Like there, there's two sides of the story and we'll get into this more, but it is 100% a thing that people get focused on being purple. There's other reasons that we'll get into later. Let's just say it hasn't stopped me being able to play World of Tanks. Yes, congratulations. We don't need this feature because he can still play World of Tanks. Despite all of this. Good argument. Okay. I guess that's me. Oh, Trophy obviously. Hunters. Okay. I like the nickname for Morgan Ridway. Trophy Hunters. Like, it's the kindest name they've ever gotten, probably. You can't just... Immediately. I am... By far, the most... Oh, yeah. He's saying that he's the biggest streamer, YouTuber in the English category outside of Russia, basically. Which is 100% true. And any other, if anyone... He's just emphasizing that, he, that he, can, he can say that the thing he... Like, he's like the ultimate target for this, right? Because he is the biggest, most famous streamer, right? Battle, okay. Obviously true. Okay. So here this video goes on to say like you can it's a generated nickname so it's not like a template. Generated nickname is not a template or... And it shows like your win rate. Name. Good a believable name. 
players who enable <clears throat> the anonymizer are displayed differently in for people. So they're differently for mods, anonymize. and that's like uh, they show XCM will show people that are anonymous as if they have no stats, basically, or they don't have enough battles for stats, or they haven't played recently enough. Something that will show up as like dash dash dash, basically. Their statistics. That's the key point to bring from what they're options. saying here, but only. And all these negative elements. Uh, well, firstly, Wargaming, I'd hate to break it to you, but it, it's not going to completely negate people stream sniping you. That's because this tool is not meant for stream sniping. It is basically in-game sniping. Stream sniping, you can never stop. And stream sniping is something you do, you have to deal with when you're a live streamer and there's no game that you should account for it. Does it get super toxic? Sometimes it does. We've seen in the past like PUBG and stuff be really extreme in this. If you're really popular, Immortal Things, it doesn't happen all that often. Sometimes you get YOLOs, but I'd argue that more often than not, for a lot of people that are good, they're not because of the names or because they're streaming, it's literally because they're purple. Which is one of the, the key problems that somebody <coughs> like me would have to face. So that's one of the key problems he faces for being a live streamer is that he gets stream sniped, which is true, but this whole anonymizer is not an anti-stream sniping tool. I.e. somebody wanting to sign up at the same time as you, it's going to be pretty obvious up at the same time and we've got into the same battle. Oh, there you go. I'm going to be... So he's arguing that this w it won't help him because if he's in a battle and people are watching his stream, they can check if they're in the same map, yada yada, see if they're in the same game and they can still stream snipe, which is obviously true. But again, it's not what the anonymizer is about. Able to do, oh, I, I wonder what that random name of the T30 or Malinovka could be, right? Yeah. It it's probably more for the people that don't stream a lot or are very less popular or in general, just a fairly big pool of players that are good players, like blue and up or even green and up well, whilst the rest is tomatoes, right? You're going to get that XCM focus. It does happen. And it's not for the 20 people whose name alone is enough to get stream sniped or XCM sniped or whatever, right? Because... It happens to so many more people. It's it's not for stream sniping. It's not going to fix that at all, is it? No, it's not. Because it's not against stream sniping. I guess it will help with um, when random people get into my games and then they see that... So he's making the argument that he even admits it's a bit far-fetched. That people will be at an advantage because of anonymizer. Because they can still see uh, him for him because of stream sniping. Which again, the whole program isn't meant to be anti-stream sniping. I'm on the enemy battles and frontline, as well as in some seasonal mode in a dynamic platoon that is created right in back. This music, most often with unfamiliar I don't know why he's making fun of the music. Players. Wow, the what like I feel like he's making fun of the video because he doesn't agree with it. Like, I don't think he's ever commented on music and pretending, like, oh, you know, well, tell so me, weird. tell me, like, what is this? This is not this is not a regular QB video if he is like. Such an emotional take or something, I don't know. <gasps> You're gonna so see my friend's nicknames? And here, uh, the video is obviously talking about in-game platoon mates, and he makes the joke that, oh no, my friends will see my nickname. No, it's for in-game platoons. Carefully. Wow. If anonymity is crucial to you, <laughs> okay. Anonymize, it changes your nickname in so I guess you shouldn't randomly invite people into a platoon with you? Because I guess this kind of snowflake generation thinks that oh they're going down oh, no they now they know my name oh they could they could abuse me or something. I no, no one is gonna do that. People will still invite randomers for medals and whatnot. I never do it, but people invite other people for medals and all that. And people seeing your name suddenly are not gonna turn those two people toxic. Ninety nine percent of the time, like you're really like overplaying this for no reason. And I don't know why you're calling other people special snowflakes because of this minute thing where you just invite random people from your team and they'll see your real name what it's just a name it's just a name it hides you from friends opponents it might entice you to violate. hides you from friend sorry did did i read that right hold on it hides you from friends opponents opponents it might entice hides you from friends okay yes. violate the rules ah so they're just talking about the fact that even if you're anonymous, the game obviously knows who you are. So if you fuck up in the game, they'll still punish you, which is good. Responsibilities. Yeah. The server will know. Oh. And be prepared. It's always watching you. The Wargaming's always watching you. Your or fight for you. No, it de 
definitely won't. Players, this is such a dumb one. Always watching you. No, it definitely won't. So the video goes on to say that an anonymizer won't make you a good player, which is true because a lot of people use XCM as a crux to argue why they're doing bad in the game, right? If people people are like, oh, I couldn't play well because of XCM, a lot of the times it's not XCM. A lot of the time, good players will take, for example, uh, early early leads or early good positions, which means they usually get spotted first, which means usually the first artillery shell is for them, but regardless of XCM or not, right? But a lot of people use it as like, a, I think crux is the correct word. I'm not entirely sure. Where they say like, oh, it's because of XCM that I can't be a better player or whatever. That's absolutely true. And it's like a common thing that I've seen uh, also in the YouTube comment sections, right? Players. It'll make and the ears making fun that it won't make you a better player. But obviously, XCM also really doesn't... XCM's like also kind of makes you a better player, but also doesn't because it's just a mod, but it gives you a really distinct advantage. So it does, doesn't make you a better player, but it lets you take advantage of bad players, basically. Playing more enjoyable. I guess. Them from unwanted attention sure. And allow them to focus Be honest here, like, I, 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 are Wargaming making this for me? Like, is, no. Is this for me? Is, no. Is this meant to be for me? I mean, no. I mean, when they said that it's going to be for bloggers, for streamers, for YouTubers, for people who are significant inside the inside the the World of Tanks community, I, I guess they're kind of trying to make it for people like me, or at least no. If you don't want to use it, it's optional. Don't use it. Obviously, will you'll be affected by people because people will might turn it on, so you you'll get less use out of your XCM. But it's also meant for literally thousands of people. That are blue or plus, and that's a lot of people. <laughs> Trust me. At least they're not just making it for me. Of course, they're making it for everybody who feels that they get uh, that they get focused, XVM focused in game, or everyone who's ever been berated by somebody on the internet in a direct message afterwards. It's just, I just does this really feel necessary? It's just a name. I don't. It's not about the name. It's about the stats for almost everyone except you. Me and like 10 other people. I don't know about all of you, but I feel that it just people seem to be so easily offended. It has nothing to do with it. This is literally just influencing the gameplay. And if someone just wants to chill out after his work on his Blunicum account and doesn't want to get XDM focused, that is completely fine. It's not about being like buttered on the internet. That's literally something out of his hands that influences the game that isn't even part of the game because it's third party software. Like, it's not the same. Well, if, so somebody sends you a message, an angry message in game. So here's going to make the point where you can just click away the angry message. True, but I can't click away your XCM until the anonymizer. Fuck. Somebody's messaged you after a game. Uh, possibly being the most focused or trophy hunted player on, on the European server. It hasn't. Yes, he is the most popular. Stopped me from being able to play the game. Congratulations, you can still play the game because you don't think it's a big deal, but it's a big deal for thousands of other people. I can still play pretty much, sure, maybe like one in 10 games or one in 20 games, something will happen. Somebody will, will rush into me and, and trophy hunt me, as they want to call it. It doesn't stop me. It happens to everyone that streams as a decent player. Me from being able to play the game. I honestly. It hasn't really stopped a lot of people. Well, probably has stopped a lot of people from playing the game because they feel like they're getting... Basically, you get better at the game, but the game gets worse for you. That's a really weird thing to have happen in an online game, right? I honestly think that people out there who think that they are being completely focused all the time, every time. I'm talking to you unicorns or even you, you super unicorns or whatever, or, or people who just... Wh whatever you identify with in a game. And you feel like the whole of the enemy team is focusing you because of XVM. And this is why I can't do well in the game. This is anything correct. No, he's correct with this one. It's we already really talked not. about this. It's down to you. and Like he's basically saying that this whole thing is a bit blown up and that it doesn't happen to a lot of people. And that people use it as, like I said earlier, they, they use it as an excuse to not be better because they use XVM to be like, okay, it's because of XVM. I'm not getting any better. And most of the, a lot of the time, um, maybe not even most of the time, but a lot of the time people... Uh, it's not because of XCM sniping or anything like that. It's usually just because they're plateauing and they're not getting better, right? And they're using it as an excuse, which I agree with. And a lot of people seem to overlook that. Just either 
not being able to play better or not being able to push through your skill ceiling. I would argue that this is kind of completely unnecessary inside a game. When people think about statistics not being available inside a inside World of Tanks, oh, that's how it should be, right? I don't know about... Yeah, I think that's how it should be. I actually think that after the game, you should be able to see the stats if you want to. So you can check like, oh man, was that guy I lost to? Was he a good player? Or was that guy who I thought was a total noob actually a noob? You can already do this by just checking the account, right? You don't really need Axiom for that though. What about you? Have, you? have you played any other multiplayer games when you load into League of Legends? For example, you can literally see what rank the player is if they're in gold, silver, bronze. So he's arguing that the stats part is pretty normal in multiplayer games, uh, and he's naming League of Legends. Diamond, Platinum, Masters, whatever, whatever all the all the little different ranks you can get inside League of Legends are, you can see as you're loading into the game. Also, what pretty much everybody in League of Legends does when they're trying to play ranked is they literally alt-tab and there are third-party websites that literally show you what the statistics of all of the different players inside the game are. Wargaming are effectively deciding that other titles which have competitive game modes where stream sniping should occur more of are wrong and I guess they feel like they... they... L- taking League of Legends, I maybe played two games six years ago, but even I know that the toxicity in League of Legends is world renowned and this is a horrible thing, a horrible like uh, a thing to compare it to. Because, yeah, there's third-party software and the ranked and all that. Like, League of Legends is literally known for being super toxic. It's got to be XVM. Have our tag inside the game. or We can't have our name there. Sure, some people just want to be able to play. But do we really have to, to keep putting these layers and layers and layers of boundaries to try and protect people from just any kind of social interaction. Are we going to be playing a multiplayer game at this point? Or are we just signing up and this is one step closer towards Wargaming throwing in bots into the matchup? (laughs) What? Okay, first off, you can still message people after the game where most of your social contact comes from because there you actually have time to type things out. In the game, people are pinging 7,000 times if they died early. And you can still work together, you can still platoon up, you can still talk in platoons. And if you platoon up, like we already discovered first, you get your same name. So that really doesn't change. The only thing that changes uh, lately, or like two years ago, is that they removed the talking to each other feature. Again, because Axiom is super toxic. Uh, you know, people would, you know, would not just berate their own team, but also the enemy team. Yada, yada, right? This doesn't really stop you from playing together. Sometimes I just wonder if it's Wargaming listening to, to the loudest people. Is this literally just for the one percent? Is it? Me- no, it's for a lot of people. Meant for the unicorns? Is it meant for? No, the- it's meant for anybody that has better stats than the rest of the team, basically, or for anybody that you already said before that get berated because of their low stats. Super unicorns? Is it meant for the streamers? Are they literally investing all of this time and effort? I don't think it's actually like they say it's specifically meant for streamers, but like it's mostly just good players, right? Like for, streamers is not going to help because their name is almost more known than the skill. So that doesn't really change a thing. And I think they just did that wrong, wargaming themselves. Like it's not for streamers. It's probably more for YouTubers. Like Jingles could actually play the game with this into anonymizing people's names just so a tiny little percentage of the players can enjoy the game maybe like like five percent more or don't i think he's really underplaying the amount of uh arty focus and stuff that happens in the game and uh it's it's like i've been three marking like tier five six and sevens where arty is significantly more of a problem and it definitely happens like we like everybody knows this it's not like more or something because like, I don't think it's so little. It's not that there's not that few good players on the EU, at least. I can still play the game. It doesn't matter that you can still play the game because I think this go- is goes way beyond me and you. Obviously, I'm very happy with it because I think it's a- I think XGM stats is a big problem because I think it leads to a lot of toxicity uh, towards bad players and a lot of toxicity to a lot of good players, right? I should be the most focused player by artillery. I should be the most yes. across all of the different tiers inside the game. They're presenting this as a big solution to a big problem. Yet, for some reason, on the other hand, they're deciding to completely change high explosive shells. It has nothing to do with the anatomizer. Great success.
Let's think about what Wargaming have actually done in the last few months, as opposed to just miss the Halloween game mode. Now, obviously, every single game mode, it's one of the first times that they've actually missed a big holiday season. But it's a disaster, really. And this run up to Christmas... Like, is it really that big of a disaster? Yeah, it's annoying. But like, it's like a, a week event, Halloween. I think most people that I know, at least in my chat and stuff, which is arguably is a very small sample size, let's be real. I don't think anybody plays most of those modes uh, that play the game regularly a lot, but like I might be downplaying it. Might be true. Might be a disaster. Is their most integral period for World of Tanks. True. During Christmas, it's the same for streamers. Like streamers make the most money and YouTubers make the most money from basically October till the end of the year because advertisers pay more money uh, because everybody's at home because of shitty weather, right? And so far, we're on the 1.7 test server where we should frankly be seeing the double barrel tech tree that we can... I agree, we should see those on, on this patch. ...have in time for Christmas, and we're not. We've got... You can buy directives for credits. You can buy Sixth Sense directives for credits instead of bonds. They're very minor. We already laughed at this on my stream when I read the patch notes, and that was literally it. <laughs> We've got an anonymizer. Uh, where's the content? Now, the anonymizer is huge. It's not directly content as in like playable content, but it makes the content that's already available way more enjoyable, which is also a fairly big thing. But I agree, double barreled things should be coming before Christmas. Well, I'm really happy for the, the, in my opinion, significant minority of players who have been feverishly requesting this anonymizer inside world of tanks for the last six years i just i just really hope that wargaming aren't buckling over focusing on tiny little things that are only going to affect a tiny percentage of the player base rather than actually focusing on the big picture of the real key issues like i think it, i think he's really downplaying it i think it is a big deal and obviously this is personal opinions but i think if you look towards uh, the most forum, the, like internet and all that. And it, again, there's like, there's a huge player base that doesn't care, that doesn't watch anything. They're just playing the game, they blow up a tiger and that's that, right? That's a huge part of it. But I really think he's underplaying how many people are affected by this. And the real key content that they have to get into their game. Am I going to miss seeing the statistics of my team and the enemy team? Yeah, I, I really will. I, I use those statistics as a way to learn how to play the game better. Now, a lot of people are out there saying, oh no, you use it to try and focus on tomatoes and pick up easy kills and how to just kill unicorns. No, come on. I would argue on the other- So even if he doesn't use it that way, you can be damn sure people do it that way. If you're in a tight 2v1 situation and you know that one guy is a complete Muppet and the other guy isn't, and you have to make the choice to putting like this is just one in a million things that this applies to if you're fighting a 2v1 you know that one guy is really really bad the other guy isn't and you have the opportunity to kill either you're gonna kill the good guy first end of the story on the other hand that it allows you to figure out if a position that you used worked because your team was just way better than the enemy team or alternatively if the enemy team was way better than yours and they just completely steamrolled you and you can try and put it together to try and figure out what different positions work what different plays have a chance to be able to impact the battle you can still do all of this without axiom and it's when you get into those games where you can clearly see that you are the underdog that you have a chance to shine i personally think the world of you still have all of that without axiom tanks is going to be for the worse if they implement the anonymizer changes. I don't see why we need to keep making, putting these layers of invisibility between people and- oh, Because people are toxic because of the visible stats during the game. We can't even see each other's names anymore. Are we playing a multiplayer game? And it's- Yes, but it's a highly specific and niche game. <laughs> bizarre for me because in theory, I should be the one person in the whole of Europe who wants this to happen more than it doesn't have to be, and especially not because you already have used XCM for the last like seven years. ...than anything. It's definitely going to help me as a player. It really will. This is going to be absolutely huge for my game. I'm going to get focused much less by the enemy team. I'm going to get trolled much less. By so, he's admitting that it all works? ...by my own team, but it's also going to remove so much fun. If I...
How? <laughs> like, the fun of using XVM to dictate how you play instead of just using like your eyeballs basically choose to activate this i'm no longer going to be able to interact with my team in the way that i previously could also you still can because it doesn't i don't think i could be wrong on this actually i don't think it stops you from talking because uh, like in a perfect world it would just show you your your newly acquired nickname for that battle saying something right you're not going to have those little rivalries where you and then after the game you can still pm people invite people to platoons you can invite people during the game into platoons and still do all this teamwork see an enemy player and you remember them oh they were in my last game and they killed me when they were this literally at least on the european server barely happens at all and i did only the only because he's saying that he's he, he will miss the fact that he'll recognize people on the enemy team and uh you know to like it's like a little like revenge or kill or whatever you know it's like a little fun mechanic, but I think that only really happens in ranked. In your, when you're in the higher ranks, probably, then it increases the, ad, the the chances of meeting someone that you already fought. Like during my streams, which is like five to seven hours, I don't think I've seen the same player in enemy team once. Playing their Progetto 46, and now I'm going to go back at them and make their life a living hell as well to try and get some revenge. I think part like I'm sure that happens, but I, I think he's like overplaying how much it happens at least in my experience i don't see the same players probably not even every stream like of that is playing games it's part <clears> of <throat> the human nature which for me at least is one of the big elements of fun involved in, in in why i love gaming in the first place so the anonymizer is this going to be wargaming's big feature in time for christmas ladies and gents i surely hope not wargaming please it's going to be a big feature but there should also be big content. And like the content should be the double barrel things. The feature should be anonymizer. And that should have been the Christmas patch. And I hope to God that that's still it. Because we have a couple, we have a little bit of time, but it doesn't look very likely. Please get something meaningful on the 1.7 test server. I agree with this. Like we need we need some we need some meat alongside the anonymizer. Anonymizer is really nice and it's a big feature. But we need some, we, we, for Christmas, we need some good content, right? Because there's more people playing during Christmas because of bad weather and whatnot. Or you're once again going to miss this important Christmas period. All the World of Tanks players are coming home either from, from. Yep. I didn't really want them anyway. Anyway, side World of Tanks, I didn't really want them anyway. Anyway, ladies and gents, that's it for today. All right, that's so the let's go through Let some YouTube uh, you channel think or about it YouTube channel comments. comments. I'm really interested to hear your opinions. How you can you not can you absolutely? Because there were a couple of people. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, a lot of people are also hammering on about the names, right? So people are saying if you remove the name, it doesn't really matter. Or and if you're the only one that doing uh, that is doing the anonymizer, then it won't work either. And I don't know why people are hammering on the name, whilst the name only matters to like very little people. Like this is this is far greater than a bunch of YouTubers and Twitch streamers, right? Like this will help a lot of good players that are just enjoying the game. A lot of blue nickers, you know, a lot of green people, and a lot of bad people that will get less hate for being a bad player, right? <clears throat> And there's also a lot of people saying like, oh, I personally don't care because they, they, they're not bothered with it either way because they don't use XGM and they don't care. And that is fine, but I don't see that as a, as a reason to not do it, right? Uh, let's see if there's some other comments I can reply to right now. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, also about the anonymizer, uh, if, you, if you are anonymous, people won't see... The blacklist because the blacklist could give away the people uh to be good players like you could literally blacklist people that are good that you know are good that are uh because of the like if you fight someone that's good in the post game you see that they're good you can block them there and the next time they're anonymous you're like all right this guy's anonymous i've only anonymized good players and then you can like skip it that way and that's just that's so that's not the case it still works like in the garage and stuff so they can't pm you and whatnot but you cannot see people that are blocked as random. So that's also a question I see a lot. So, and the only thing that's a little bit weird about the anonymizer is that they don't give you a random W8 stat because that's 
is a little bit weird because it, it's really going to depend on how many people use it. And like I've said in the previous video, it really depends on... Uh, like the implementation is a bit bad, right? I think it should have been everybody has it and you should opt out of it if you want to be proud and show your stats. I don't think an, a, a new player or, or people that are bad or whatever, casual, however you want to call them, uh, should be should should be the ones taking actions to turn it on. I think it should just always be on and you take it off if you're so proud, right? And a lot of what I also see a lot of comments is um, why are they doing this when there's so many other problems? And this is this is this is like you know you guys know how many things I don't like about this game. Okay, uh, lower tier artillery, uh, you know, stun timers, uh, soap rocks. The, the, the list is endless, guys. I agree. There's a lot of other things wrong with it, but I never get the comment of why are they doing this now when there's so many other problems that are more important or whatever. Because this like even war gaming, <laughs> okay. I, is a giant pipeline of things they want to do. And this was in the books for a year plus, right? And they're not, they, they, it's probably hard for them, probably, I'm guessing, for most companies to suddenly change. So instead of the anonymizer, they'll suddenly do something else. Like, they probably have, like most big companies, guys, have like a big schedule. And yes, it still takes too long. It's been like a year since they teased it and all that stuff. It's all true, guys. Okay, I agree. But it's not an argument to be like, we don't need this. We need we need this and that. Like, like no, we need this and that. And at least we're getting this. Like, that's the only way we should really, we can really take a look at it. And, and like I said, I agree. There's so many horrible, bad things about it, about the game. <clears throat> and yeah, I would probably rather see, like, lower tier artillery nerfed than anonymizer, maybe, right? Who knows? But at least I'm getting this, um, in a way. But again, you guys know how I feel about the game. You probably hear it on the semi-daily basis on the stream, right? <clears throat> uh, let's see. Also, people are saying that this is like uh, they're doing this to take focus away from other complaints, which again is just not true, right? You just, you know this. <clears throat> or like comment comment says kids today would not survive global chat back then. Like Okay, okay, boomer. <laughs> Come on, nobody's like that, dude. Like people will just turn off the chat if they're if they're like that, right? Like they can just do that themselves. Like the garage chat and whatnot. And people that say that it only helps like proper unicorns or people like Zircon, eh, like you're really underestimating the how many people are affected by this, I think. Because it, it doesn't affect only good players, it affects bad players as well. I think that's a pretty common misconception as well. <clears throat> Cause like we've all had the XCM stat people, right? We've all had the artillery that drowns in the first 30 seconds because he doesn't like the team layout. Uh, the, the scouts that you just YOLO and die because they don't like the team layout or there's only so X percent chance of winning, stuff like this. We've all had this, guys. <clears throat> but yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it there. I don't really see any other YouTube comments. Um, yeah, I just wanted to address it. I was actually working on like typing out the whole message. <laughs> For on Reddit or something, but I was like, yeah, I'll just make a video, guys. Like, I was typing up a whole Word document on this, but uh, it's just not my style, I guess. So, yeah, thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.